Hello guys and welcome to episode 4 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as the Spirit of the Jungle, Nakai the Wanderer. In this one we're going to be starting by attacking the Monument of the Moon. We have it under siege after starting that last episode. And we may as well just jump straight in. I'm not a fan of this map, mainly because there's normally quite a lot of towers that can fire at you at the same time. Yeah, there's four towers on the front here. I guess we could maybe attack from the right hand side or the left hand side. That would probably be better because there's only three towers there and three towers here. Yeah, let's uh, shift all of our units over here. That will save us some damage at least. And we'll just go through that gate. Uh, so I'll put these into a group. With Nakai. And we'll just start the deployment. Start the battle. Let's run on in. Uh, spread these out and then charge up. Okay. And we'll get our Skink Priest right up next to the tower. Wonderful. They have actually only deployed on the wall here, rather than this wall. So we're actually only being hit by two towers, rather than what would have been probably four. So, that was a good move. Uh, on this wall, I am very tempted to bring down a comet. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. They are like lining up there. Let's see how that does. <laughs> Damn. The damage is ridiculous, but unfortunately didn't kill more models. Maybe if I use the lightning in the same place, it would be good. I don't know. Either way, uh, we're going to be smashing down the gate very soon. Uh, we're in position with most of our Sarah's warriors. Uh, I do actually have my beast of its soul ability to use. Let's just bring that in over here and we'll take out the mortars. May as well just use their ranged ability. That's so damn cool, these. <laughs> they are ridiculously good. Alright, the gate should be open, right? Yeah. Alright, let's uh, charge on through. I say uh, just charge before they get killed. Oh, that's annoying. They got routed just before they could get the damage done there. Oh, this is going to be a nice chance for a wave attack. Oh, I missed that a bit. <laughs> the swordsman moves the opposite direction. Unfortunate. Right, let's uh, move Nakai away. He is currently being wrecked by these halberds. What I really need to do is just select the rest of my Croxagors and tell them to just walk through. And just not care about the halberds. Then what we can do is right click on the halberds and we'll just surround them. And they'll die very quickly. And then we'll bring Nakai back over. He can give the physical damage resistance. Oh, my skink priest is actually on the on the wall there. Alright. Alright, let's just do a concentrated attack there. These Saras Warriors with shields are probably going to be dead, unfortunately. Unless that makes those rout. Alright, 
All right, let's get some more beasts of it. So I think. Um, hmm. Actually, do I want to bring them in there? Don't know. I guess it's the only use for them. And yeah, taking out those mortars would be great. I'm hoping this unit that's running away here with 10 Saras warriors survives the battle. They do have a couple of unit ranks. Well, that was a little bit of a distraction. <laughs> Not too much, though. We are wrecking them. Alright, let's have all of these focus on the halberds there. Good eyed Nakai here. He's already here and he can smack about with his potion of strength. Put him into rampage. <laughs> now he's just not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite amusing. It's like I put him into rampage and just stood there. <laughs> like he was fully sated. Alright, let's bring in the comet here. Might not want to walk into your own comet, priest. Damn. That damage. Alright, let's uh, now do one of these as well. Oh, it bounced off the wall. Damn. Okay. Well, we're beating their leader to death here. And I think that's army losses, so there we go. Beautiful. That guy's pretty low on health. But he'll replenish, it's fine. Heroes in Warhammer 2 actually do get their health back quite quickly, as opposed to <laughs> Three Kingdoms, where it seems to take forever to get your general's health back. And we started heading towards uh, Tolanka's patronage, so we're going to continue with that. Okay, we got another follower. Uh, does my Skink Priest have any followers? No. We may as well get Artifact Hunter. And... That's fine as well. Okay, wonderful. Is he level 10 yet? No, he's level 9. So we need one more level on Nakai and then we can put all of his points towards these abilities. So Adornments, First Spawning I want, and Legendary Warrior. That will just make his army ridiculously good. Earthing might be a good idea. Or we could get the upgrade for Common of Cassandora. Um, I do want to put a point in here because I want to unlock Arcane Conduit sooner than later. Uh, so let's go for maybe the Chain Lightning Vortex. We could try that out. I think I've seen it before, but it could be useful in certain situations where there's like a lot of infantry and you want the spell to remain for a long time. Anyway, uh, with that done, we may as well start moving towards Pahoax. So that's what we're going to do. Don't care about the unsigned skill point. Uh, in terms of rights, that's all good. Although we do have quite a lot of old one favor again. That plus five recruit rank for 
slams for three turns. Quite cool. Alright, well, that's everything. Let's move on to the next turn. I could actually upgrade the building in our horde. I can do that before we move to Pahuax. Okay. Charging in. The fervor of your great Saros warriors to combat agents of the ancient enemy is admirable, though it is starting to verge on fanaticism in some divisions, risking mistakes that could allow chaos a greater purchase on Lush's sacred jungles and temple cities. Is such recklessness in keeping with the great plan, or should the slan lord mage priests instruct their underlings to instill caution in the ranks? So we can either get eight turns of minus 15% replenishment but extra leadership or we can do nothing. I don't want that casualty replenishment rate reduction. That's terrible. So we'll conserve and defend. Right, let's continue towards Pahoax. Hopefully there's not too much there. We'll get to see this turn. Okay, there's not. Great. Uh, can we unlock any regiments for now? We can. The cohort of Sotek. Red Crested Skinks. Armor Piercing Frenzy, Poison Attacks, Aquatic. It's pretty nice, actually. What's this ability? Refuse to die. Entities cannot die while ability is active. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Well, we'll grab them. All right, uh, let's go to our buildings here and upgrade this one. That's going to unlock the hero recruitment of skink chiefs and also the red crested skinks. So red crested skinks are like armor piercing frenzy poison attack. What's the difference between these ones then? Armor piercing frenzy poison attack. Is it just that ability? I'm guessing it is. Also, of course, they're rank nine. We'll ignore that skill point and carry on. We're actually going to have our research finish this turn, which is nice. Can't remember which one it was, though. Vampire Coast Mutineers are dead. Well, that's good, I guess. One less faction to worry about. Alright, death magic for adepts. The mystical slan mage priests have devised a new ritual to increase the effectiveness of the blades wielded by your Saros warriors on the battlefield. However, such advances always come at a price. The ritual will siphon much needed power from the geomantic web, potentially putting the great plan under threat. Will you use it or not? We get reduction in Winds of Magic Power Reserve increase to weapon strength for all armies. I think the magic's just too useful. We'll conserve the magic. My right, mission issued to recruit a hero. Oh, we are going to want to do that at some point because I need to go and run to Albion for our quest. Alright, Sequence of Restoration is complete. So we get extra casualty replenishment rate. And uh, Winds of Magic Power Reserve, very nice. This sequence will increase Nakai's Horde's magical reserves to help replenish their losses and walk due to war and attrition. And they may continue their relentless slaying of the foe in the service of the Great Plan. Alright, so yeah, I think we can recruit a new hero, Ink Chief. Uh, strategist is fine. going to be an extra thousand for us. 
successfully carry out any hero action. Okay, well, I guess we can do that. Damage walls. Uh, we could do that next turn. Although, actually, we're attacking this turn, aren't we? Let's go. This army is looking mean. Damn. Really nice ranks on our Croxagores. Right, we'll just jump straight into this one. Let's go. We're up against Kalara again. Already beat her once. She's led by Ubel Billings. One name. Right, uh, we're probably going to attack this gate. That's fine. Don't want to get hit by all those towers. So let's just shift everything over to the left. Can be a group. They can be a group. I'll keep my skink priest off to one side and then we'll have these guys run up as well. Alright, start the deployment, start the battle, off we go. Smash the gate, please. Let's move my skink priest forwards. Do they have better towers? Yep, looks like it. Ouch. They're actually focusing. Okay, that's doing a lot of damage. Ouch. Do you mind? <laughs> I guess rather Nakai than my other units, but still. That's rough. Alright, I'm going to want to take out that mortar, but they have Empire Knights right next to them. I'm not sure if using my ability there is such a good idea. Right, let's just get these to use the ladder before they just all die. That was actually a really good hit, because of the way they reacted to it. Oh, the gate's open. We're past the towers, which is the worst part, <laughs> apparently. Boom, we go. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to spawn probably some dudes one side here. And I'm also going to bring down, probably... Magic. Go ahead and blast them to pieces there. We we'll probably do that across as well. <laughs> the combo. The combo is real. down that physical resistance. Uh, let's get these actually to deploy on the edge. The skink cohort. They can start throwing their javelins down. Alright, where's my skink priest at? Oh, he's climbing the wall. That's fine. I want to do another magic spell across these Empire Knights. I guess actually we could probably do another... Yeah, another comet. Do that. Maybe do one of those there.
Oh, I just blast them to bits. <laughs> There's not many horses there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just utterly ridiculous how much damage that does. I definitely don't want to sacrifice Winds of Magic Power Reserve. Right, since all of their stuff's engaged, we're just going to bring up the old pack here to kill the mortar. Or at least hopefully unseat them. These Razor Dons, man. They look so cool. We should be charging through here to the center. My men are getting stuck on the good old Ubel Billings here. Oh, now my towers. So they're firing at <laughs> this leader here. We're doing a lot of damage here. Focus this guy, dude. Oh, he is going to be dead very quick. Is he a goner? Yep, he's a goner. Alright, where's my skink priest at? Because this is another opportunity. Uh, I guess we can just do wind blast actually. Uh, let's just make sure that. We'll try and get Naka out of the way. Or he casts it. <laughs> Naka is very low on health right now. Okay, never mind. It looks like he's being attacked himself. Well, time to bring down the pain. Oh, they're running from him. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I knew what was coming. Right, that guy just survived there. It's uh, pretty risky. Alright, let's go ahead and give another three to Sri Lanka. So that's going to give us the Winds of Bandit Power Reserve plus ten for all armies. Artifact Hunter. That now. Uh, does Nakai have that? He doesn't. I don't think he can have that. I think it's only these ones that can have that. I may as well go for the Opal Amulet there just to help him out if he gets in trouble. Oh, we're level 10. Perfect. Right, Legendary Warrior for spawning adornments. Extra horde growth, casualty replenishment rate. Um, we have extra speed for the Lord's Army, extra frenzy there, and the leader aura ship size and character order leader leader effect. <laughs> my my, tongue twisting myself. Uh, let's go ahead and take out the Monument of the Sun while we're here. We're going to be quite friendly with Hexwattle, so uh, let's go and talk to them. Hello, Hexwattle. How you doing? You want to be my buddy? With some money. And then we can ask you for a defensive alliance. Alright, maybe not. Cool. That's all good. Extra 600 in the bank, I'll take it. And we're going to want to get another unit in this army at some point. What's the next one? Thorough Spears. Next regiment of renown. Cold one spear riders. We got the Razordon hunting pack at 16. Then Pterodon riders, Salamander hunting pack, Sacred Croxagores at 
What is that? Level 23. Well, that's quite a way off. <laughs> Those are the ones we probably want the most. Especially for Nakai's army. Okay. Well, uh, maybe we upgrade this building. That's fine. And that's it. Let's move on to the next turn, maybe. Well, actually, maybe we push towards Metamorphosis. That's a good idea. Good use of our favor as well. Extra casualty replenishment rate and extra missile resistance for Croxagore and Sacred Croxagore units. is really good for our, our siege attacks. So, yeah, that's perfect. Definitely glad I spotted that. Right, let's end the turn. So it's going to be a couple turns and we'll hit the Monument of the Sun. I need to move my agent actually, or at least give them an order to move towards Albion. Metamorphosis complete. Yeah, let's get uh, good old Cho Li here. The travel to Albion. It's going to take them a while. They got to go. What do our ships look like? Well, they're just floating temples. Fair enough. Alright, research. Uh, what should we go towards? Is there anything that reduces upkeep? Because that would be quite nice. I guess just a sequence of greater restoration here. Yeah, we're just going to go to the uh, sequence of convalescence and the sequence of mending, then the sequence of greater restoration. We're just going to go all the way up this tree. I think that's the best thing to do, first of all. Alright, let's carry on to the Monument of the Sun. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not. Couple armies there. <laughs> yeah, let's go back the other way. <laughs> What I'm going to do is probably set up an ambush. There's no way I can take on both of those at the no. same time at the moment. Never. Actually saying that, these aren't exactly strong units in Emil Valdorf's army. Two. But Marcus Wolfhart's army? Yeah. Don't think we can fight that yet. Maybe if it was just him on his own we'd be fine, but... Risky otherwise, because if we lose our army we lose the campaign, surely. We just need one more here. Just going to take the miscast base chance reduction. And yeah, that's it. We'll move on to the next turn. So we'll see if they move an army out. If they do, that's good. Because I want to be able to take on each army individually. I guess I could always just go to the Temple of Plenkin. Because that's where I thought the Hunts Marshal was. But obviously he's moved away. Maybe he's building his strength. <laughs> Doesn't look like he's moved. Winds of Pain. Uh, let's have our Skink Priest go have a look. No, they're still there. We'll move him back and uh, we'll run the opposite direction towards the Temple of Glenkin. We can always come back to that when we get some more troops. I guess I could start replacing the Saras Warriors with more Croxagors. Alright, well, anyway, next turn. Off goes our. Agent there. Gonna have to change the camera settings for my own faction. Yeah, that'll be better. We'll start encountering 
other factions now. Which might make the turns last longer. Not necessarily a good thing. Did our vassal lose that territory actually? They did, yeah. The monument of Isatal. Uh, we need to take that back. Uh, maybe we just go down then first. I think going across and then down from the Temple of Tlenkin to the Temple of Kala would be better. Although saying that, they also own Chotek, which is here, so I probably want to take that as well. Anyway, he's going to do a runner. It's all good. Uh, we still have 314 of the old one's favor left. But I don't think I'm going to spend it on anything this turn, at least. Oh, Hexoatl declared war on the Hunts Marshal's expedition. That's good. That's going to keep them distracted up there. That's actually really good. That might be a good idea to invest into the ability that allows us to see everything in our vassal's lands. I'm not sure if it's permanent though. No, it's only five turns, so maybe not worth it. Regardless, onto the water we go here. And we move on to the next turn. We have a little bit of a break at the moment from rampaging through lands. There's the drowned. Okay. That's interesting. They're actually attacking with an army now. So maybe... They jump back on land and go and attack them. As long as the second army isn't there, we can take each army one by one. Otherwise they're just going to take back and undo all of the work that I've done. No way. This is actually Marcus Wolfart himself. If he takes it next turn, that's fine, because he'll just be stuck there anyway. Uh, let's perform this right. That will start causing attrition. We've encountered it Tyrannock. There's not really much benefit to us discovering factions, because we can't trade with any of them. Uh, Nakai the Wanderer. Heroic spawning. A rare spawning has produced a warrior of superior physical prowess who is now available for service. Onwards in the service of the Great Plan. Xylas. Interesting. You can assault units. Go ahead and do that. Success. Perfect. And then we can attack him in the same turn. Actually, I don't think we can. Uh, we're not quite far enough. Uh, maybe we move to here, go into ambush, so that he doesn't move away. Oh, this gives experience per turn. Oh, this is nice. I mean, this guy would belong in an army, for sure. 
So let's go and build up the training. We can put him in Nakai's army. He can be the 20th unit. For the time being at least. Because he can get a Carnosaur, so that'll make him pretty damn strong. In the turn. Hopefully the Hunt's Marshal doesn't move away. This is why I was thinking about putting myself into ambush stance sooner, because if they just went and attacked my vassal, then we could catch them out. Kalara tried to assassinate my guy. That is just rude. It didn't move away though, so we're going to hit him hard. Oh nice, we are causing quite a lot of attrition to their units there, the blue vipers. It's good to see. Alright, normal stance, let's move up. And then we'll put our dude in the army. And then we'll attack. Oh, he's doing a runner. Damn it. That's not good. That's not what we wanted at all. Hmm. Probably going to get away now, isn't he? Ah, oh, we'll see what happens. We've encountered the Cult of Pleasure. Where's that army gonna go? Another assassination failure. <laughs> Alright, the Hunt's Marshal, he just went into encamp stance, so... Looks like we're good. Nice. Uh, they've left. I'm guessing the attrition's causing issues. Skeggy's been destroyed. Is that Hexoatl done that? I think it is. Yeah, Hexoatl and the New World Colonies both attacked them. Well, that technology is complete, which is good. And the Savage Blow, extra charge bonus. Oh boy, here we go. That's the good one. That's the one we want. Go ahead and smash into the Hunt's Marshal. There's no way that this battle is even slightly in Marcus Wolfhart's favour. <laughs> no way. Especially with that charge bonus. Although, I, I say that, the Reichsguard and the Empire Knights will enjoy that charge bonus a lot. But, in general, like the rest of the units are just not going to stand up to our forces. This is quite simply just going to be an outright charge. Are oh, they going to set up on a hill? Alright, well, I guess we'll move over to the right-hand side then. I think it's the first time I've played with my army fully replenished in a little while. Start deployment, start battle. I wonder why we don't have the Beasts of Itzel. Maybe that's only when we're attacking its element? By the way, you can see the strength bar is well in our favour. Just 
Right, keep my skink priest moving up. Can get some good winds of magic in at some point. Alright, in you go. Uh, actually, I probably don't want my skink priest to run in like that. That would be a bad idea. Alright, that should be an easy good amount of bat damage. There we go, wonderful. And we probably want to charge into these boys. Oh, where's Nakai? I want him to take out the mortar for us. Alright, these guys, they should be attacking, but they're not. Uh, this blessed Croxagore is having a hard time. Let's uh, charge down the hill. Help that out. Uh, those ones are having trouble as well. We use the refuse to die. We'll whack out the primal roar. Buff up the leadership. It's all good. Or maybe this guy has to go do it. Sarah Scar veteran. Oh, we crushed those cav when we charged into them. Wow. Okay. Fine by me. Can we get some decent magic in? Right, that's going to do a nice chunk of damage. Let me just put down the uh, chain lightning there. Stuff. Right, let's just uh, take out those Reich's Guard. Take out those Reich's Guard. In the center, we're just attacking Halberds there. That's fine. Let's push on to the Mortars. My Regiment of Renown is almost dead entirely. Looks like they're not very resilient. Probably don't have much health. doing too bad. Micro may be a little bit lacking but overall we have won the day so that's good. Damn, Marcus Wolfhart here. He kicks hard. He kicks very hard. But he has lost. Alright, we'll just end the battle. I think we can chase him down pretty easily. And just kill him off. Although I might not want to auto resolve it, otherwise I'll lose units unnecessarily. Actually, I probably don't mind if I lose the Regiment of Renown. Just because... Well, in terms of performance so far, they just seem very weak. Right, hunted down. Extra missile resistance and uh, missile damage increase for the Lord's Army for Nakai the Wanderer. Nice. Alright, let's upgrade our Sarah Scar veteran again. Predatory fighter, just going to make them really good in our army. Boom. Yeah, so as expected, I lost the 
Regiment of Renown, but that's fine. We defeated Roderick L'Anguil by doing that as well. Nice. And now we move on to the Monument of the Sun, which is where there's going to be another army. Yeah, recruiting. Alright, so... Do I go for the Sacred Wanderer? For the Unbreakable trait? It's pretty good. Although I don't think he is going to break anyway very often. Uh, attack scores Discouraged effect, reducing leadership. It's pretty good. This one's quite good. The Enforcer of Order. The Miasma of Despair. It's a hex. Minus leadership. Wow. It's actually a really nice one. Woundmaker. I'm probably going to head towards all that good stuff. Let's get the cold-blooded reflexes for now. And my skink priest here can finally pick up Arcane Conduit. Fabulous. Well, I should maybe try and assault units. Let's do that. Success, that's good. Gonna replenish, but the reason I did that is for XP more than anything else, really. Go for extra melee attack. And we will end the turn. Surely is getting there. Slowly but surely. Guess he's about halfway there. There's land here packs now owned by the Vampire Coast. Not good. And having destroyed that army, the Hunts Marshal's expedition is still very strong apparently. Ooh, is Plexan finally going to attack? Blimey. Never thought I'd see the day. Oh, Choli got the uh, extra campaign map movement range. That's nice. Okay. Well, next battle is going to be us attacking Ludwig Aldrecht. Here, he's got a lot of archers, which are yeah, they're reasonable, but not terrible, not terribly good. Uh, we can probably just run them down with our abundance of crocus gores, so I'm not too worried. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, guys, it's been my time, so we're gonna leave it here. Next time around, I'll make sure to wipe out Ludwig, and we'll take the Monument of the Sun. Uh, then we can take the Shrine of Sotek and head back down. Uh, towards the blue vipers and wipe them out that's gonna be what i want to do we're almost completing all of the character assassinations here as well or well not necessarily assassinations we've just got to defeat them but if we defeat hurtwig over here then that's completed all of those very nice right anyway that's it hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode Goodbye.